All right, yo, welcome back. This is Ty Ty. So today I'm gonna show you how to set your vocals in a two track. Let's go. Yo, so I've had a couple requests over the past couple weeks about just getting your vocals to sit in a two track. And sometimes it can be a challenge. You know, a lot of these beats come pre-mastered, mixed, everything, and it's just kind of crunched. And it's a little bit of a challenge to get it to sit where you want it to, especially compared to a uh, track out beat. But uh, let's go ahead and hop into it and I'll show you how I go about it. All right, so this is a track I'm working on at the moment called FaceTime. And uh, go ahead and give it a little listen. Been searching for clarity, got these DVs on my wrist. Just rolled up this front, so sit back, smoke and reminisce. It's been a half a ticket, lined it up, it's all we get. Last time you come out FaceTime, baby, you just threw a fit. Been low. But uh, kind of how I go about this, it's just kind of a stage of compression and EQ. So I got everything turned off down here. We'll go ahead and kind of bring everything in one by one and uh, just kind of really place things where they need to be. So to start off, you know, you're going to want to get some EQ going. A lot of the important stuff in your vocal is in your mid-range. Um, you want to make sure you're getting that right. So I always make some nice cuts, especially... Two, three hundred range, you're getting out that mud and then just kind of sitting down in the 1K range. Um, it just really controls everything. So let's go ahead and play it. We'll add it in. Been searching for clarity, got these BBs on my wrist. Just rolled up this front, so sit back, smoking, reminisce. It's been a half a ticket, lined it up, it's all forget. <laughs> you already see that that really pulls it into play. I feel like everything with your vocal chain is really going to pull this together. A lot of times with my vocal chain as it is right now, uh, the moment I get it all fired up and I'm recording, it's already sitting in there pretty decent. So then let's go ahead and add some compression. So it's sitting a little high, but it's it's definitely controlling the vocal and we'll get it to where it'll sit in a little bit better here in a few. All right, so then I go through and do some additive EQ, you know, just a little sweetener, add some body. Been searching for clarity, got these BBs on my wrist. Just rolled up this front, so sit back, smoke and reminisce. You know, I got a flange on there, that's just for taste. Um, a multi band compressor, I feel like really, really controls everything. Um, I might have to do a video on just really breaking it down, um, but we'll go ahead and add this in. You can tell it just controls it a little bit more. Been searching for clarity, got these BBs on my wrist. Just rolled up this front, so sit back, smoke and reminisce. It's been a half a ticket. So just another step there, then running into another compressor. I like running a compressor after my multiband so I can really get my attack and my release right. And it does, it just kind of makes everything mold and sit in there just a little bit. So let me play it one time without it and then I'll go ahead and add it halfway through and you can just feel it, kind of pull it in a little bit tighter. Been searching for clarity, got these BBs on my wrist. Just rolled out this front, so sit back, smoke and reminisce. It's been a half a ticket, line it up. All right, so it's getting there. All right, so let's go ahead and hop down to my Allvox. I got a multi-band compressor here. Um, basically what this is doing is just kind of taking out some annoying frequencies, which also helps it sit a little bit more. Been searching for clarity, got these BBs on my wrist. Just rolled up this front, so sit back, smoke and reminisce. It's been a half a All right, so then going into the infuse, you know, I got a little bit of saturation going on. I have some compression, I'll be hitting about 2 dB max, and I'm doing a little bit of width, and then I got some output pulled down on this. Been searching for clarity, got these BBs on my wrist. Just rolled up this front, so sit back, smoke and reminisce. It's been a half a ticket, lined it up, it's all for gets. Last time you come out FaceTime, baby, you just threw a fit. So, you know, along with the EQ and the compression, you're controlling your gain staging along the way, just making sure that's sitting where it needs to be. You know, then I throw in some soothe just to kind of take out some harshness. Also makes it sit a little bit more. Been searching for clarity, got these BBs on my wrist. Just rolled up this front, so sit back, smoke and reminisce. It's been a half a ticket, lined it up, it's all for gets. Last time you come out FaceTime, baby, you just threw a fit. All right, so that's about it on that part. And then down here on my master bus, I'm just kind of sweetening some things. Um, and I feel like it kind of brings some life and body to it. Let me go ahead and shut this off real quick. Been searching for clarity, got these BBs on my wrist. Just rolled up this front, so sit back, smoke and reminisce. 
you notice when I turn that on because I got a little cut down here, a little bump at the 105 hertz range, not even a half a dB. A little bump here at the 500 range, I just wanted a little bit more body. And then a uh, half a dB at the 2700, um, and then nothing. Um, so that does pull it in a little bit more, you know, it adds saturation. And granted, on your, your master, everything is running. The beat is running to that. All my vocal buses are eventually getting to that. So this is where you're kind of just molding everything together. And saturation definitely helps pull that together. I don't have anything crazy going on here, but you can hear a difference. Been searching for clarity, got these BBs on my wrist. Just rolled up this front, so sit back, smoke and reminisce. Just spent a half a ticket, lined it up, it's all for kids. This really pulls it in a little bit tighter. It's just, with the, with the master bus, it's just kind of... Uh, it's boosting everything together and just kind of molding everything together in one. It's really, really powerful. Um, but I got some warm tape sitting at 21%, clean tape at 8%, and clean tape at 9%. Um, so then going in after that, this is a big key to me, some, uh, some more compression. And basically what I'm doing here is I have a ratio of 4, an attack of 10 milliseconds, and then the fastest release I can get. Um, so... What I'm doing here is I'm making sure I'm hitting about 2 dB, and then so it's not just hitting on the bass. I have my my filter up here pulled up to 125 hertz. Most compressors have this. And let me play it and go ahead and add it in, and you can see how it really just pulls everything together. Been searching for clarity, got these BBs on my wrist. Just rolled up this front, so sit back, smoke and reminisce. Just spent a half a ticket, lined it up, it's all for kids. Last time you come out FaceTime, baby, you just threw a fit. Been looking for love, baby, you just want to check. Really pulling it together there. And then I'm doing some imaging just to kind of widen things up. I wouldn't say it necessarily makes it sit better, but like it just kind of pulls that feeling in. Been searching for clarity, got these BBs on my wrist. Just rolled up this front, so sit back, smoke and reminisce. Just spent a half a ticket, lined it up, it's all for kids. Last time you come out FaceTime, baby, you just threw a fit. Been looking personally i think the vocals are still just a little bit loud so we might have to turn some down here in just a minute but let's go ahead and start with up here on the beat i have added a uh, mv2 compressor from waves and it has upward compression sometimes i'll throw that on my beat and if you do the upward compression you're bringing out the the quieter parts and making them a little bit louder and granted that's going to kind of just cradle around your vocal so let's go ahead and add this in play it real quick without it been searching for clarity got these bbs on my wrist just rolled up this front so sit back smoke and reminisce just spent a half a ticket lined it up it's all for kids last time you come out facetime baby you just threw a fit you can really hear it in the hi-hats um but then i am gonna go ahead and turn this down let's just say we'll start with like 5 db let's see where that's at been searching for clarity, got these BBs on my wrist. Just rolled up this front, so sit back, smoke and reminisce. Just spent a half a ticket, lined it up, it's all for kids. Last time you come out FaceTime, baby, you just threw a fit. So I'm really liking where that's sitting. But just as a, an extra little bonus here, say we still weren't happy with where it was sitting in the beat. We'll go ahead and pull this up here. I have a little preset made up called sit in the beat. And basically I'm just really boosting up the mid range here. So what you'll do is you'll go ahead and side chain this. I already have one made up and then that'll sit on your beat. You want to have this pulled up to zero. So it's just sitting there, letting the full thing through. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do real quick. Been searching for clarity, got these BBs on my wrist. Just rolled up this front, so sit back, smoke and reminisce. Just spent a half a ticket, lined it up, it's all for kids. Last time you come out FaceTime, baby, you just threw a fit. Been looking for love, baby, you just wanna check. Try to set me up, so I always keep it tech. But you hold me down, baby, I can take the rest. So let's play without it real quick. Been searching for clarity, got these BBs on my wrist. Just rolled up this front, so sit back, smoke and reminisce. Just spent a half a ticket, lined it up, it's all for kids. Last time you come out FaceTime, baby, you just threw a fit. Been looking for love, baby, you just wanna check. Try to set me up. 
So you see how that just kind of pulls it in a little bit tighter. Um, you know, if you're really struggling to get something to sit where you want it to, I would say use that as kind of a last option type thing. And you know, they got track spacer too. Um, that's also a cool plugin. I like Soothe because I, you know, I use it for other things. But uh, I would try to make sure you're properly doing it through gain staging, through EQ and compression, and then use Soothe too as kind of like that last option because if you're not careful with it, it can kind of take some of the fidelity out of your out of your vocals and kind of just it kind of rounds things off so if you're really trying to get that nice punchiness it can kind of take some of that away um, so just kind of use that sparingly but it is a nice nice little extra thing to have if or when you need it because every now and then it does come up but I hope that helps I know that's something I really struggled with when I first started mixing and a lot of times I would just have my vocals way too loud so you really kind of want to find that sweet spot of where you can hear everything in the beat and then also hear all of your vocals and just it goes per song there's not really a certain db that one needs to be in this there's a good starting point but it does vary along the way yo any questions comments concerns definitely hit the comments below like share subscribe i appreciate every single one of you the channel is really growing and uh i'm trying to keep doubling 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 and let's see what we can do but I appreciate y'all. I'll catch you next week. Peace.